or drag their feet as they have done so. Maureen Pugh. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I stand in support of the Enhancing Identity Verification and Border Processes Legislation Bill in its third reading here today. Uh, this bill, sir, is in the name of the Honourable Amy Adams, and it comes about as the result of an inquiry um, into the matters uh, raised around the escape of Philip John Smith, or Philip John Trainer, who did manage to find himself a passport, acquire himself a passport, and leave New Zealand while he was on temporary release from prison. And out of that inquiry, it was found that um, there was inadequate sharing of information between various agencies, as well as um, some of the operational processes um, were found a wee bit lacking. And so um, this gentleman was able to find himself um, free of the country. So the inquiry found uh, 39 recommendations, which were accepted by the government um, in full, and the majority of those recommendations. And they came to support the 13 recommendations that were also enacted immediately after the um, incident happened. So corrections moved very quickly to adjust their processes uh, so that uh, these temporary releases were made more rigorous and fill the gap that was obviously uh, found wanting. Mr Speaker, this is a, an omnibus bill and it amends um, a variety of acts and strengthens a variety of requirements that must now also be made before a minister can make orders in council. And uh, the bill also streamlines how the agencies must work together to identify these offenders and ensure that their sentences are carried out properly. It moves um, away from simple name-based recognition and into a variety of other um, details called uh, either the biographical or the um, biometric information. So biographical meaning simply the name, address, the date of birth, the place of birth and gender, um, into the biometric information, which includes uh, either a, a photograph, a visual image, such as um, iris scanning, and some of the technology that is becoming uh, more regularly used in other jurisdictions, and also includes other distinguishing features such as uh, tattoos or um, uh, amputations, um, birthmarks, etc. So those agencies now are required to share this information, and those agencies uh, that are called accessing agencies are the Department of Corrections, Department of Internal Affairs, MB, the Ministry of Health and DHBs, New Zealand Customs Service and New Zealand Police. And the holder agencies are all of those agencies, including um, the New Zealand Transport Authority. So, um, Mr Speaker, the, the public does expect their government to be able to share this information for the purpose of keeping everyone safe and for preventing these types of abscondments from justice. Um, we, um, we are aware now that the border alert processes are significantly improved as a result of the um, tightening up of some of the processes, and there are now 11,000 more people under the management of corrections who are to be stopped should they try to leave the border. This bill, sir, contributes to this government's policy of delivering better public services um, by reducing crime and reoffending, and I have great pleasure in commending it to the House. David Clendon. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm pleased.